Yeah! Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your Old Nerd of the Day. And I try to think so, you don't have to. Today I'm here at Jack in the Box to try their fish sandwich. Surprisingly, I've never tried the Jack in the Box fish sandwich and I've been trying to hit various places, more and more fast food places that have a fish sandwich or, or seafood sandwich uh, because I love seafood. And I'm always trying to find those places that have very pristine fish sandwiches, fish sandwiches that just make you go, oh man, I gotta have this again and again and again and again. Those are wonderful. Let us go to the clipboard of fluff. The Jack in the Box fish sandwich consists of 100% Alaskan Pollock fish fillet, tangy tartar sauce, shredded lettuce on a regular bun. That's what they got here, a regular bun. Let's not be too fluffy on that, just, just a regular bun. Gonna use my handy dandy steering wheel desk here so I can set it all out before me. Well, that is the bag it comes in. Got two napkins inside. Hopefully that'll be enough. And right there is the fish sandwich. It says right there, so I'm not lying. Look, see, it's not too bad a size. It definitely is a regular bun and you've got all kinds of goopy tartar sauce in there, a lot of uh, shredded lettuce and the fish fillet, the pollock. There's another look at the fish fillet sandwich from Jack in the Box before I bite in. Let's give it a shot. Go for another one. Take a look inside, see the whiteness of the fish. Close up of the fish, you can see that it's crunchy on the outside and flaky white on the inside. Okay, by the numbers, the bun's a bun. It's like they say, a regular bun. Uh, the lettuce, shredded lettuce, there's nothing special about that. The tartar sauce itself is more of a tangy sauce than a sweet sauce. I like sweet tartar sauce better, but it it's decent. The fish filet has a crispy coating on the outside. It's not a panko coating, it's just like, a regular type of fish fry coating, and then you've got a flaky white pollock in the middle. I'm not, I don't think I'm a fan of pollock. Um, I, I like cod. It has a decent flavor to it. Um, it. It's not too bad. It just doesn't have a overwhelming flavor to it like I really love this type of fish. And who knows, if you like Pollock, if you're a fan of Pollock, maybe this thing will float your boat. You're not going to know until you give it a try. And they do pile on the tartar sauce. A lot of it. Very goopy. So if you're going to eat it in the car, I wouldn't eat it while you're driving. Get yourself one of the steering wheel trays like I got linked down below. And, and do it that way if you're going to eat it in the car. I've always liked the cheese on the fish filet. Of course, this doesn't have cheese, just the stuff I told you about. I kind of wish it did have the cheese. But of course, that's a matter of personal preference. Some like it, some don't. The damage on the Jack in the Box fish sandwich was $3.25. Um, you can also get it in a value meal that comes with a drink. I'm trying to look in fries, I think it says. I'm, I'm looking at the poster across the street for $4. So for 75 cents more, you can get a drink and fries with that. So if you're looking for a value and we're all looking for a value, that would be the way to go if you want to get this. On the Nerdometer, I would give the Jack in the Box fish sandwich, um, I think I would give this a high meh. It's okay, there, there's really nothing special about this fish sandwich. And, and they don't really tout it as something amazing. Kind of like the way they're doing the food truck sandwiches right now. They don't like, they're not overselling it for as, as something that's really special. Of course the value is better, even alone, because I think the uh, fish filet over at McDonald's is still running like four, four and a half, four ninety nine. dollars something like that, which is just ridiculous. And I honestly think that it doesn't have as much flavor as a uh, fish filet at McDonald's. Um, I think that has more flavor and probably why it's one of the more popular items over there. Would I recommend it? 
Um, if you're by a Jack in the Box, if you're at Jack in the Box and you're in the mood for a fish sandwich, then by all means. I mean, that's their option. But it's not anything that you just have to run out and get and you're going to love so much that you're going to want it over and over again. There you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, I put out videos every Sunday and every Wednesday with live chats every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific. Catch me over on my website, oldnerdreviews.com, over on Twitch TV, twitch.tv forward slash oldnerdreviews, where I do streaming during the week and on my social networks, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Old Nerd Reviews all around. All that good stuff, it's all down below. You guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll talk to you again. Bye now.